Okay, it's a couple days after. Um, so what we're doing today is I'm going to be canning my chicken. So this is the amount of meat that we got from the seven birds that we butchered. This is the white and dark meat. I think we did better this year than last year. So I just take, well obviously take it all, I take it all off the bone just because I can in these jars and the bones are quite long, don't fit in there. So yes, yeah, so take it all off. I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt in each one of these. I just use the Redmond salt. I don't worry about the pickling salt. So in there, and then um, it goes in the, we had last year, is it last year? Anyway, I got an all-American canner, pressure canner. So I'll put it in there for about, I think it's 90 minutes. And then we'll see how many jars of chicken we get, which will be very exciting. I love canned chicken. Okay, so this filled eight jars and I still have a little bit left. I'm just gonna freeze this. Probably I get two meals out of that. So these are usually depending um, a meal or two meals for us right now. And what I do before, well, these are, have all been washed. I don't sterilize them because I don't think that's required anymore if you are pressure canning. So everything was washed in hot soapy water, the lids, the jars and everything. Um, and then I just take some vinegar. This is just apple cider. You don't need to do it with apple cider vinegar. It's what I have. Wipe the rims after you get everything. Wipe the glass rims and then put your lids on, finger tight. And then they're going to go in the canner. And this canner um, requires you to have about three inches of water. And this takes, yeah, I think this takes eight. So I'll fill this up, get it pressurized, and then set the time for 90 minutes and then we'll see what they look like when they're all done. This is what the finished product looks like. I didn't put any liquid in. That's all from the chicken's meat alone. So I've got eight jars canned and two more meals in the freezer and that was from seven of our roosters.